everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you another episode of my Real vs. Fake series, this time featuring the Chanel 19 handbag. So if you're curious to learn how to spot the differences between real and fake, then please keep on watching. All right, so first things first, let's start with the packaging. And actually for this bag, it didn't come with the box, which is unfortunate. So we'll go ahead and skip that and then move on to the dust bag. It fortunately did come with a dust bag, and so here it is. By the way, can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? So over here in this hand, we have the fake dust bag. And then over here in this hand, we have the real one. The differences are very, very slim. Obviously, there is a big difference in terms of size, but that's because both bags feature a different size. You'll see that later. Um, but really, in terms of material, both feel really, really good. And I feel like that's kind of an easy way to tell whether the replica is going to be of quality or not. Like, usually when, you know, the dust bag, like, looks terrible and the quality is really bad, then the bag is kind of, like, not going to be good. Um, but here, it's looking good. I would say that, like, from the logo, from the Chanel logo, it looks exactly the same. Like, I really can't tell the difference in terms of material. Both feel really, really nice. Again, very similar. I would say maybe the one tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny difference would be the color. Here, the shade of black for the fake one is slightly lighter than the shade of black for the real one, which is here. But I mean, it's barely noticeable. And then moving on to the bags themselves. Before we start anything, can you tell which one is the real one and which one is the fake one? So over here in this hand, we have the fake bag. And then over here in this hand, we have the real bag. So the real bag, which is mine, which is here, is the Chanel 19 handbag. It is in size medium. It is from the 22C collection in this beautiful beige color. And then let's address the elephant in the room right away. So this is its replica, but in size small. So mine is in size medium, which is 30 centimeters. And then this is size small, which is 26 centimeters. So that's why the size is different. But other than that, it is the same color, the same hardware, the same everything. It is just that the sizing is different. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the color. Like I've mentioned before, mine is from the 22C collection in this beautiful beige color. And this one, the fake one, replicates exactly, or at least almost exactly the color. I realize that it's pretty hard to see. And by the way, of course, I will be including close-ups um, and comparisons of both bags so that you can see. But really sometimes on camera, like the colors don't render exactly. I've noticed that there looks to be quite a big difference in terms of color on camera. But really in person, it is almost unnoticeable. Like I had to go tuk, 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 tuk like in between bags to kind of be able to see, okay, maybe there's a slight difference in color. And the slight difference in color is that the real one, which again is in this hand, is a teeny tiny bit warmer. The shade of beige is a teeny tiny bit warmer than the fake one, which is here. But frankly, it is to the point where you're like, uh, after having looked at both bags for five times, like I'm not even sure. It's really almost unnoticeable. on to hardware and I feel like this will be a very interesting part and probably a part where there will be a lot to say. 
because this bag naturally features two types of hardware. So that means that on both bags we have silver hardware and then gold hardware at the same time. So gold hardware basically on the closure system as well as some part of the handle. So right here the handle. But then on the strap we have also gold hardware and then silver hardware. And the part that features the silver hardware, first of all, is the same part, so it's the right placement for the fake one, which again is here. And it is exactly the same tone of silver. That is like unnoticeable. I absolutely cannot tell a single difference. Now, moving on to the gold hardware, I do feel like the gold hardware that is on the handle as well as on the strap for the fake one, which again is here, is it slightly brighter and it's slightly more shiny than for the real one which is here so for the real one it is a little bit like brass um, so that means that it's like matte um, gold and definitely not shiny and here it's not that it's shiny it's not like in your face shiny but there is a little bit of a difference there's also a little uh, how would we call that maybe like you know like I'm not sure how you say that in English actually, but it's like the appearance of looking old. When you naturally make something look old and quote used, that actually happens on the real bag which is here, so that means there's like slightly dark marks on the gold hardware which are not here on the fake bag. But to be very honest with you, <laughs> I actually prefer the fake bag for that. I don't like this like artificially aging the bag. I feel like it doesn't look good. It's not something that you see from you know way far. It's only something that you can see from up close. But still I'm like uh, a little iffy about it. But at least it doesn't exist in the real one. And in my book that's actually a pro. Now let's move on to the lining and the stitching of both of these bags and here it will be short and sweet because I actually don't see a single difference. The lining and the stitching and the quilting looks perfect. Um, so I basically have nothing to say about this. It's exactly the same on the fake one and then on the real one. So we are going to move on to the type of leather and the look of the leather. So both feature calfskin leather and here I would say that if at all this would be the biggest difference for me in terms of these two handbags and it is kind of the appearance of it. So on the real bag, which is here, the leather is a lot fluffier than on the fake one, which is here. So that means that if you're looking at this part, for example, it kind of like comes, you know, this way, come outward. Um, it is appearing to be a little thicker and a little fluffier than on the fake one, which is here. That's the number one thing. And then the number two thing is also the fake one doesn't have this kind of, again, artificial aging of the bag. So for example, if you take a look, it's probably most visible right here on this part of the bag, there's like little wrinkles from the leather that do not appear on the fake bag. This actually in my book is again, a good thing. I am not a fan of these wrinkles in my purse. They are also very, very visible, I believe right here on the back of the handbag. Um, and that's not something that you can see here at all. So I'm very thankful for that. So now let's talk about the interior part of the handbag and this will be something that will be much clearer on the close-ups but I just wanted to say that up front with the bags open like this. So honestly the inside looks the same. There is a little pouch for both. There's like a little organizer pocket um, that comes with a Chanel logo and then on the real one which is here it says Chanel made in France and then on the fake one which is here it says Chanel made in Italy. So that right up front is the biggest difference. And then the second one is on the opposite side from the pocket. There is for both, it is the same location, 
the reference number or the serial number and obviously they don't feature the same serial number but they feature exactly the same combination of letters and numbers so that is correct and then the location is correct as well so that's obviously something that's impressive because even if you feel like you know you know what a serial number should look like you may be tricked with the replica um, honestly it looks exactly the same now for the one that says made in Italy I would have to do research and see if some of the real ones um, which again is here for me are perhaps made in Italy so that's something that I'm like not a hundred percent sure but I mean anyway in my mind like that's not one of the things that makes a lot of difference especially because we're talking about something that's like inside of the bag I would say that the fake bag which again is in this hand is an amazing quality replica it looks so close to the real one that it's almost unnoticeable I mean you know basically like the only way for me to tell like easily to tell them apart to know you know where I put my real one and where I put my fake one is because of the size I mean that's it if they were both 30 centimeters I'd be like oh my god like I'd be stressed about <laughs> you know, being confused about which one is the real one and which one is the fake one. Um, so the fake one is from a company called SheBag. It is a company that I've already um, worked with in the past and I've already featured some of their items on my channel. I believe my latest video that I was working with them for was about a real versus fake of a Louis Vuitton pochette Métis. So if you're curious to see that video, then I will go ahead and leave it in the little information link over here for you to see it. I was so satisfied with the quality of this handbag and here it's the same thing again. It is a company that really, really puts a lot of thought and a lot of effort into their products and it shows, I mean, even the leather is like so smooth, so nice looking, the bag looks so surprisingly real. And I do believe that like at the price point of certain of these like Chanel items, it's like they're starting to be a little exaggerated and a little, you know, high. <laughs> especially for what it is so I do believe that this would be a good alternative option and if you're interested in getting it then I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box of the video for you so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I hope that this video was informational and beneficial for you in case you were looking at acquiring a Chanel 19 handbag and kind of wanted to learn the differences between real and fake so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.